Hi, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to build the classes for next year. By now, you should have already filled out the pink and blue sheets on your Google Drive. We're going to be using Trello.com as a website in order to build the classes for next year. But do not worry, you don't have to go to the website directly. I'm going to send you an invite to your school email. When you get that email, you're going to open it and click on go to board. Keep in mind, if you are a kinder teacher, you're going to be getting an invite for the first grade classes since, since you're building the classes for the following year. If you are a first grade teacher, you're going to be getting an invite for the second grade classes and so on. So kinder teachers, when you open the first grade classes, you're going to see them labeled um, by 1A, 1B, monolingual or dual, and you're going to see four or five boards depending on how many classes are going to be open in that following year. You're going to go to your section. If you are KA, you're going to go to the 1A board. If you are KB, you're going to go to 1B. If you're KC, you're going to be going to 1D, 1C, and so on. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to add cards. All you have to do is click here and you're going to type last and first name of every student in your class. And you just type them like that. You click on add card and you put last name, first name, etc. for each student in your class. Once you're done with putting all the cards for all your students, you're going to label them by color. What you're going to do, you're going to click on that student, go to labels, and first start by telling um, the system if it's a boy or a girl. Do that first for every student. Label, girl, and I recommend you having a roster next to you and just go in order alphabetically like that. So here I'm just showing you an example with these three students. After that, you're going to go back and now we're going to label overall if the student is high, medium, or low, if the student needs resource and inclusion, or if they are a GT. And this is just an example. Label, Just like that. Once everybody has done this with their classes, you're going to see what it looks like by looking at this example from our third grade team. We started working on ours and this is what it looks like at the end. We still have a few more labels that we need to add, but our classes are already set up. Now, right now, they are identical to the way they are this year. So once we finish with all our sheets and we are ready to build our class for next year, it's going to be a lot easier if we log on here because we can easily switch them from class to class back and forth. You can sort them by if you want to see how many greens you have. You don't want to have one class with too many highs or another class with too many lows. I know that usually we have to keep students that receive inclusion or resource services together um, to help scheduling. So this, these labels are gonna make it a lot easier for you to sort students and be able to have a more visual um, key, uh, something visual for you to be able to move them back and forth from class to class and then um, create a, a roster this way. You can always go back if you don't finish in one day, just go back to the email, click on go to board and it'll take you back to your board where you left off. Once again, you don't need to save, it'll save on its own. Um, and then once everybody has completed their own class, then you're ready to maybe have a Zoom conference or be on the phone and have those conversations as to who you put in what class.